they call it the jungle. They call it the jungle because it's, I mean, you see drug use everywhere, prostitution, graffitis, fighting, gang banging. It, it, it's a very tough place to, to, to grow up. You, you grow up fast. I was maybe 11, 12, 13 at the time, and these guys were 18, 19, 20, and they were looking for me, like, you know, let's do this together, let's do that together. So we were getting into, um, you know, selling drugs, even doing drugs, and that acceptance, that acceptance for for me to hang out with them was was what I, I like, longed for. I, I wanted somebody to accept me. We were coming to the Salvation Army through their social services because we were in need. We always needed, um, you know, a light bill paid. We needed food on our table. And because mom was by herself, um, we didn't always have that. And one day they, they actually invited us to one of their Sunday services, their holiness meeting. And I heard about the love of Jesus. I was, I was shocked. I was like, wow, the love of Jesus? Jesus loves? I thought it was all judgment. I wanted more, but because I already had established in a persona with the older crowd I was hanging with, you know, I wanted to keep that persona. And I didn't keep coming to the Salvation Army, although most of my family did. I finally turned 18, 19 and received my first adult criminal crime. While I was at the county jail, you know, I started, you know, praying and reading the Bible. I made so many promises to the Lord that I was gonna live, you know, a life for Him. Unfortunately, when I was released, I didn't stick to it. I, I, I went back to the crew. I went back to that fast life, the, the, the life of crime that I was living with. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse as time went on. I was once again behind bars and I was facing um, a lot of time in prison. And I was, I was so deep into it that I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember that I was, I used to be a Christian, that I used to, I used to pray that I used to read the word. But something in my soul just just told me to to utter one word and and, and it took all my strength and, and all my memory and all everything I had in me to utter it and, and that word was Abba, Father. And when I said that word, the, the cell was just filled with a bright light. And the light that pierced my soul, that light that it was an encounter with the living God. I felt that something was lifted, something was lifted off my shoulders, like my soul was being, being restored, it was being rebuilt, it was being renewed by the Holy Spirit. After seven years, uh, the Lord decided to release me from prison and I ran straight back to the Salvation Army where at one point in my life, it was the only place I felt that love, the love of Jesus Christ. And I was accepted by those people that even knew what, what type of lifestyle I was living. Now we're, we're hugging me and calling me brother and loving on me. Being a part of the Salvation Army has is, is, is been such a, a blessing and such a joy for me because I see how lives are still being transformed. It didn't discriminate against me who was a gangbanger and, and here I am as a cadet to be an officer in the Salvation Army. And that's what I love about the Salvation Army.